Thank you, everybody. And maybe you are wondering why this title, the will you see for I don't know, I don't care. Uh, that happened in a meeting at my company, well, where I work. I was saying that the users should be able to select the CRS, and person kind of product owner say, nah, just use the WSD4. That can be wrong. Nah, just use the WSD4. That means that the user doesn't know or doesn't care. Exactly. And it was his answer and was shocked because I was not expecting that. Okay, give me an idea. <laughs> yeah, welcome to this presentation. I'm the same Javier Jimenez Show with the same profile as before, senior engineers of a developer and project contributor. And this was an alternative title. <laughs> I was uh, thinking before that meeting happened. <clears throat> and don't be surprised if you go through these five stages. That happened to me. <clears throat> these are the five stages of grief. I remember perfectly the denial phase where I, couldn't, I didn't want to read that email. I didn't want to understand that concept. I said, no, no, it cannot be. Now I think I'm between four and five. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to make clear, <clears throat> I'm going to talk a lot about accurate measurements, about accuracy. And GNSS systems, by default, they have an accuracy about one meter or even worse. But with some corrections like RTK, right, real-time kinematics or PPK, post-processing kinematics, you can get up to two centimeter accuracy, or even less, they say one centimeter accuracy. <clears throat> The question is, should we keep in using EPSD 4326 with this accurate data? So first, what is the WC4? It is a, the name of a geographic coordinate reference system, these three flavors, 2D, 3D, and geocentric. It is also the name of a datum of this system, datum ensemble. I will explain later what's the datum ensemble. And it's... Um, also, the name of each of the elements of these of the members of this datum ensemble. This datum is used by the GPS satellite, by the actual GPS constellation from the US. It's not GPS as in general, the GNSS, but the global position system from the US. And it's also the name of an ellipsoid. I will say later what's an ellipsoid and what's not a bit. And it's I'm probably missing other things that are called WST4. And it's the main uh, is the geographic system where many projections are done. So there are many UTM that are based in the WCT4 and other projections. And this is uh, the list of 2D, geographic 2D coordinate reference systems in EPSD. The first one is the well-known 4326. But this, this list of other variations of WCT4, the number there is the time on use in the GPS constellation. It's measuring weeks, I don't know why. <laughs> but the latest one was added a few months ago in EPSD, this uh, 2296. And they are adding every few years, one or two years, they're adding a new realization. That's what's used for the GPS system. So all of them are the way used before, but we are using 4326. <laughs> and 4326 is defined uh, with a datum ensemble. And what's a datum? It's a set of datums, and you can use all of them indistinguishable. So if you don't like one, you can use the other one. And they are supposed to be the same while you're computing things. That, for me, is chaotic, but that's how it is. And this is the definition in EPSD webpage, epsd.org. You can see the datum ensemble uh, with all these eight members. A uh, few months ago, we're only seven, and a few years will be nine. <coughs> you see the ellipsoid is also WSD4. And I said that it's also the name of an ellipsoid. An ellipsoid is not a datum. An ellipsoid is just uh, the shape of the Earth as an ellipsoid. It has two numbers, the radius on the equator, and the other one can be the other radius, or the flattening, or the eccentricity, but it's two numbers. It's to define the shape of it. <coughs> datum is the reference. So it's where do you place that on the earth, let's say? And these are two tennis balls. I only have one at home, so I take two pictures and I <laughs> merge them. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the same ball, but located in two different places. So it can have one ellipsoid used to, for two different references. 
there's one clear example in Germany, Switzerland, and the Netherlands, and probably more in Europe. Lu louder. Okay, yes. Um, Germany, Switzerland, and the Netherlands, they all use the same ellipsoid, Bessel 1841, but there are different references because each one used in a different way. A datum contains an ellipsoid in its definition and more things. So what is not WSD4? It's not a, a synonym of latitude longitude as a geographic reference system. Many people, unfortunately, are using WSD4. Yes, I want to say latitude longitude and they, yes, say WSD4. It's not the one and only geographic reference system. There are other geographic, many other geographic reference systems, like NED 83 2011 in the US, um, ETRS 89 in Europe, uh, GDA 2020 in Australia. <coughs> it's not a wild card that you can use wherever you want. Maybe it's the answer of the ultimate question of life, the universe and everything. <laughs> and to make things more complicated, uh, WCT4 is a dynamic datum. In a simplified way, the datums are dynamic and static. Static datums are attached to a tectonic plate, and dynamic datums are not attached to any tectonic plate because tectonic plates are moving. We all studied that at high school, and probably we forgot that when we get into GIS. We think they are moving uh, slow or fast, depending on who you ask. Uh, the European tectonic plate is moving around 2.5 centimeters to the northeast. The North American tectonic plate is rotating to the west. Uh, Australia is moving about eight centimeters per year to the north, and Hawaii also about eight centimeters to the west, I think. So it's moving, and if your accuracy is two centimeters and your tectonic plate is moving faster than that per year, then you measure something today, and in one year, it's a different location. In 10 years, it's far away. So as Matthias said, to know where you are, you must know when you are. And this is a graph of the velocities of different tectonic plates in the world. You can see how Europe is moving and Australia is moving really fast. And yeah, please, use meaningful numbers when you are describing coordinates. <laughs> this coordinate here is in this building and a friend of mine said, oh, I didn't know that we were working in the semiconductor technologies because it is nanometers. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking before about this Daton ensemble that has eight members, but I don't know if you realize that there's a field here in this uh, screen that's accuracy, two meters. That means that the Daton ensemble that's under WSD4, EPSD 4326 has an accuracy of two meters. So you can imagine what's going to happen now. <laughs> that means that any measurement that you do there is intrinsically with this uncertainty. And I want to clarify that I'm not talking about projection distortion. I'm not talking about projections here. It's a geographic coordinate reference system. It's not about the accuracy of the projections. It's about the definition of WSD4 as a datum ensemble. <laughs> This is a, a link to my talk about, geographic, uh, about coordinate systems last year in Kosovo. And to make everything um, funnier, WSD4 is the GPS, is the reference system used by the GPS constellation. That's owned by the army. And they are not very transparent about that. So this is a paper from uh, Kevin Kelly and Michael Dennis. They are trying to find out the transformation between the different WCT4 realizations, this list of eight members I saw you before, the last seven, they're trying to, with measurements, to find out that. But they are not working on, for the WCT4. They are not working in the, that department. They are from other departments somewhere else in the US administration. And it's not completely transparent how this reference system is defined. It's, Military, security, whatever, it's not clear. So, I don't know, I don't care. <laughs> the first, I think, is I don't know that I don't know. Many people don't know that. 
probably because they are using WCT4 as the one and only latitude longitude. I know many people here. People may don't know that there is a datum ensemble that's a set of references and you can pick one. And really? <laughs> and it, they didn't know that's that inaccurate, two meters, just in the definition of the datum ensemble. Uh, some people get surprised when they realize the datum transformation, not only with OLIS 4 but with any datum transformation that are not exact. And a colleague of mine was really, was really, really disappointed <laughs> when he realized that those transformations are not exact. And yeah, you also don't realize that the coordinates depend on time because of these tectonic plates movement and earthquakes and yeah. Okay, so if you are in this group, welcome. I hope you're learning something today. Other option is that you know that you don't know. Because you don't know the datum. So you have a measurements, you have a coordinate, for instance, in RTK, and the RTK is not telling you what's, what's the reference systems used for the RTK correction. So you don't know it. Or because you are consistent among your data. So you have a project, all your data is, has the same origin, and you use WCT4 uh, to make things simpler. Or because the data is provided as, as that, WCT4, okay, I know it's inaccurate, but I cannot do anything. Or I'm using a portable basis station for the RTK, not an entry provider, that they should uh, mention the reference system they use for the corrections, but use a portable one that you live in the middle of nowhere for, I don't know, one day or many hours. If it's using the GPS satellite constellation, it's probably using WCT4 G2296, the latest realization. That's not the same as WCT4 4326. Or because you have to use a projected system that's on WCT4. You have to. You cannot choose your coordinate system. You have to use that projection on that a specific EPC code. So, that, okay, no option. Or you don't want to know. <laughs> okay, if your case, you know that. Or you don't care. You don't, maybe, or probably, you don't need centimeter accuracy. So meters is totally fine. And yeah, I agree. If you don't care about it, that accuracy, you don't care. It's fine, no problem. For instance, because the scale of the map is very big or very small. I never know how to say if the scale is <laughs> big or small. Here, having accuracy of one meter, having accuracy of 100 meters, you don't notice that. Or because my data, it works for me, I don't care. Or it's not my problem. <laughs> or all of the above, including I don't know. OK, some other issues associated with this. So first one, there are many projections on top of WSD4, like all the UTM 60 zones are there, but they are not on top of the every realizations of WSD4. There's no UTM zone defining EPSD with a code number for EPSD uh, for WSD4 G2296. It's not neither, it's not uh, for ITRF, International Reference, uh, Terrestrial Reference Frame, 2020 is the last one, 2014 was before. There are no entries for all the UTM zones in EPSD. So what do I do? Do I define with a WQT? Yeah, but then it's not EPSD code. There are some applications that doesn't work without an EPSD code. Or because your format doesn't support anything else but WCT4. GeoJSON is an example, in the first draft, it was a, an entry for the coordinate reference system, but the final one doesn't have it. it has to be to GT4. Well, RTK, that was the origin of <laughs> this talk, was about RTK. It's not in WCT4 4326. If somebody tells you that, don't trust that. It's on the reference system used by the base station. And they should say that, unfortunately, I don't know any entry field on the package system that they can say, or, and they do say, what's the reference system of the correction. But each uh, base station is 
correcting on a specific reference system. And obviously, you are not using one with a two meter uncertainty when you want to get centimeter accuracy. Some message stations are broadcasting in several systems. I've seen one that was broadcasting in NED83 2011 in the US, and at the same time in a different channel for ITRF 2014. And, okay, this is very fun. What's a correct transformation? <coughs> in EPSD, there are not only the definition of the reference systems, there are many other things, including transformations. And those are three transformations between WC4 and GDA 2020. That's the last uh, reference system in Australia. Uh, the number one was deprecated. And the number two in the remarks at the bottom says that ignores the low accuracy of WC4 and also the tectonic plate motion. So in summary, I don't know or I don't care. It's telling that in the remarks. The transformation number two is a helmet transformation with all zeros. So it assumes that uh, WC4 and GDA 2020 are the same. Uh, the number three has some other parameters, so you can do an actual transformation. And number four, I think, is a um, grid file. <coughs> but the three of them are using this uh, three meter accuracy in the transformation. So in the, every transformation in the PSD has an accuracy field, and in this case are three meters. What's an open street map? Okay, I found this article. The summary is sometimes we use that, sometimes we use the local one from the country. Yeah. Personally, I don't expect open street map having centimeter accuracy, <laughs> at least not the data I have seen. And that's a recommendation. Do not convert to WCT4 your data just to store it. Just keep the original data and the original reference system. Because just with this transformation, you don't know what happened. And you don't know what, how it's going to be interpreted later. So we store the original data, properly identify with the proper CRS, if you care about accuracy, of course. <laughs> Solutions. Well, maybe we can ask EPSD to add these entries. <laughs> One geographic, I don't know, and some projections, of course, to make many people happy with any ellipsoid, US uh, AT or WCT4, I don't know. This is a joke. Uh, this is also a joke, <laughs> making our own agents, uh, authority with numbers so people are happy with integral values making it clear that I'm identifying that and I don't know what's going on there. It's latitude and longitude, I'm projecting them. And my opinion, the problem is that we are using the same term for different things and that always produces misunderstanding. So maybe WCT4 for me means something, but the, I'm giving the data to somebody else and that person understands something else. And Yesterday, somebody was asking me how I can convert my RTK measurements from uh, WCD4 to the national system. No, your RTK measurements are not in WCD4. <laughs> so, do I say that WCD4 is always bad? No, absolutely not. Can be useful? Yes, of course. But we should know the limitations and we should know the meaning of WCD4. And we should realize if we don't know or we don't care. And maybe you know, I hope that after this talk, you know and you decide if you care or not. And sometimes you don't have a better option. And also please think that maybe other people don't realize that. So maybe it's clear for you and you're giving the data to somebody else, but these other people don't know what you were thinking. And there's a quick questionnaire I think we don't have so much time. You can go to this link there. Uh, it's a Google form, no? Okay, just quickly. People that, they don't know that they don't know. Could, could you raise your hand? No? Okay. And people that you know, but uh, you know that you don't know, but you cannot avoid that? Okay, people don't care. I think this, Many people not caring that are not raising their hands. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Thank you.
Thank you, Javier. Uh, I got one quick question. Was that your cat on the slides? Uh, <laughs> the black cats are the cat from my sister. <laughs> so, any questions to Javier? So is it even worse when you're forced to use Pseudo Mercator 3857? Uh, no, it's the same. <laughs> because Pseudo Mercator uh, 3857 is just a projection, and the projection is perfectly defined on top of the OECD4. So this projection you can do and undo, and no uh, error on that. But the problem is on the datum, not on the projection. Any more questions? Well, I have one more. So you have shown that uh, CRS uh, WGS84 is updated every, every few years, right? Yep. Uh, do, do these updates account for tectonic movements? No. no. This is no. dynamic datum. Okay. So the static datums are attached to a tectonic plate, like ETRS in Europe is attached to the European tectonic plate. Mm -hmm. And I always say the example that the Canary Islands, they are in Spain, but they are not in the European tectonic plate, so they use a different datum. Mm -hmm. WCT4, the, the one used by the GPS, like ITRF, they are dynamic, so they are not attached to any tectonic plate. They are just making more and more measurements, and they are fine-tuning, and they are defining the datum better, I hope, but it's not influenced by the tectonic movement. There's a question mm -hmm. at the end? I, I teach uh, GIS and uh, uh, catchment modeling, and a lot of the students struggle in the process of uh, converting DTMs to streams and, and catchment areas and things because they use data that's WGS84 try to pound it in, pounding it into them that they have to use a projected coordinate system because of how the streams are calculated, catchment areas determined. Is that a, there's a question? <laughs> yeah, just, it's just, I'm just saying as a comment, it's like yeah. a, it's another drawback of WGS84. But projections, uh, they don't have an error. You can do and undo a projection there is really tiny mathematical error there, depending on the projection or where you are, but really tiny compared with this. So you can undo that and do another projection, but the datum transformations are usually much bigger, and people is not aware of that, or how big the datum transformation can be, the, uh, the uh, error. Yeah. Um. Like five years ago, I entered GS remote sensing, and I kind of had to learn about projections the hard way. But I'm surprised to hear that when we get interns from um, master studies, remote sensing GS studies also struggle, and um, uh, also they only learn about local projections or about the WGS84. I don't know any limitations or problems using them. And what I actually kind of miss is a kind of platform um, with the information um, that combines information about this, about projections, about how to use them, about the limitations and the things. Can you maybe reflect on that? Um, well, information about that, it's, um, well, theory, I mean, how does it work? There's a lot of information online. How each geographic system per country, because Estonian has their own one, the US has their own one, each one defines their own one, and they measure their way. <coughs> you have to go to, those, uh, to that uh, geographic institute, usually. And in Proch, I don't know how much documentation we have about this problem. We are trying to do a transformation or take the definition of the systems, but yeah, to me took years to learn about that and yeah, go through the five phases of grief <laughs> to, to learn all this, yeah. Okay, thank you, Javier. That's all the time we have.